All right, today I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about the Air Tap by AC Infinity. So if you have a room that's too hot or too cold, you're not alone. It is a very common problem because sometimes the ductwork is just inadequate and uh, they didn't measure correctly to begin with or there's some partial restriction in the ductwork that happened and it's somewhere behind the walls and you can't find it. So this offers a unique solution without having to spend a ton of money on contractors and opening up walls and figuring out um, maybe a more mechanical solution to it. So this is your standard grill here. There's nothing fancy about it. You got two little louvers here and you can adjust the volume of airflow. Uh, one thing I would do and maybe try before you invest in something like this, you could, if it's on the top level that you're having the problem, you could shut some of the registers down in the basement if you have a basement and that can help send some more airflow up. But if you're getting a little bit of air out of the register and you just want to boost it, basically this is just like a, uh, it's just a booster fan. Uh, you got two little fans on the back here and uh, there is an option to put it on a wall and there's some screws to secure it or you can just drop it in the floor. Uh, the uh, power cord really only comes out one direction here. They've got a little cutout for it. I suppose you could maybe notch it out if you really wanted to, but you could just flip it like this way. Fortunately, this is on uh, the side of my bed here where it, uh, it's not a problem. This cord can just get tucked back in here and it's plugged in behind the wall and it comes with a very generous power cord. I'm gonna bring you up a little closer here so you can see the features on this. And uh, let's talk a little bit about them. So the first thing as you can notice here uh, is we are in the snowflake mode. Let's zoom in a little bit more on that. So snowflake means we're in the cooling mode. I think we can even take off this, give you a little bit of clearer view, which this fan is not gonna turn on unless it detects a temperature at 67 or below. So we can adjust this. So most air conditioning systems aim to achieve a supply temperature of 20 degrees below the return temperature. So somewhere in the 50 to 60 degree range, I would say would be pretty normal, um, but depending on how your system is and how hot it is outside, you may need to increase or decrease this to get it to come on with your system. So let's say your air conditioning comes on, it starts blowing air like normally, and you would have just your regular vent. This is just gonna sense that because there's a thermostat in here and it's gonna boost the airflow. So it'll boost it to whatever you have the fan set for. We'll get to that in a minute. You also have the same setting for heating. So if you're not getting enough heat in a room, what you can do is set this to 85, 90, 95, whatever you feel the temperature coming out of your grill is, that it's gonna sense it. Boom, this thing will kick on, boost the airflow. And then you also have your fan setting here. I just turned my fan on right now. And it's on the, uh, I don't know if I have something here to demonstrate here but it's blowing a little bit of air right now and you can increase this. All the way up to speed 10. So that is moving a lot of air. I mean, it's not enough to quite hover this, but yeah, it's, it's, moving, it's moving quite a bit of air. So it's also quite noisy though. I think I would leave it on five and then increase it as needed. Uh, and then you can see here the temperature that the thermostat is reading, uh, 81 degrees here in the floor because my hands have been touching it and we're in the heating mode right now. So uh, it's a really unique product and I will say that I've referred a lot of uh, my friends and uh, they have had mixed results with it, uh, being quite honest. It really depends whether or not you have like any airflow at all, I think. So if you have inside of your register, if you have some air coming out, that's great, that means you can boost it. But if you've got nothing coming out of your register, there'll be nothing to boost. So just keep that in mind when you're considering getting these things. Um, and I think they're worth a shot for a majority of people. They do end up making a, a difference and improve performance and you don't have to deal with batteries. The power cord is another challenge. Depending on where your register is that you wanna install this, you're gonna have to plan for a power cord. Now they do offer some double-sided sticky tape and a zip tie, you could, um, you could route this cord on this little sticker here and uh, you'd be able to do some um, management with that or get something else. But it's a, it's a pretty cool product. I think it, uh, it definitely serves a purpose.